Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another one of my uh, vacuum review videos and uh, today we're going to be talking about um, the Miele S8 uh, it's also known currently it's the same machine <coughs> to all intents and purposes as the, uh, the Miele C3 complete range uh, which is the largest cylinder cleaners that Miele do and uh, they're currently available from all the major retailers um, they come in three different uh, power ratings, which is 700 watts, 1200 watts and 1600 watts. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to be reviewing one that I bought a few years ago, which was uh, one of the 2200 watt versions. But uh, in all intents and purposes, it's pretty much the same as what you can get now. So, this is the uh, S8330 Medicare. Uh, this was a limited edition uh, model that uh, I got from Currys just before the new EU rules came in in uh, August 2014. So it's one of the old 2200 watt maximum machines. You can still buy these on eBay. There's plenty of them around second hand. Um, and uh, they make an extremely good cleaner. So I'm going to be talking about this machine here and uh, all the accessories that you can have with it. As you've seen it here is how it came from, uh, from, from Currys. That's the head that it had on it, the Allergia Tech head, which is the, uh, the one that uh, has the lights on that uh, tells you how dirty your carpet is. So, if I, uh, if I start with this one then, um, with the, the hose and the accessories first, and then I'll get the, thing off the, uh, the camera off the tripod and we'll have a closer look at the base unit uh, up close. Okay, so, with this one we have the uh, standard meal hose here and the standard handle with the uh, air bleed valve on here. We've got the standard metal uh, stainless steel rod which is fully extendable like so. It has the clips at each end so that you can unclip it from the hose and the hose has swivel both ends here, one at the cleaner end and uh, it swivels at the handle end as well. So it uh, shouldn't get kinked, it's a crush proof hose, so you can squash it and it won't get damaged. Just uh, remove that from there. Now, this, uh, this floor head, it's, uh, as I say, I'll bring it up to the camera here, so getting the camera off at this point in time. That is the um, Miele Allergia Tech head. This is quite an unusual head and uh, none of the cleaners that are currently are being sold come with this. You have to buy this as an optional extra. Um, as far as I'm concerned it's just basically a standard carpet head which is the, uh, the same as what you get on a basic model. Exactly the same there which has the, the button there which decides between carpets and hard floors. It puts the, uh, the bristles down as you can see there. You've got your standard roller wheel on the back. Now this part here, this is the, um, the Allergitech unit. It's basically the uh, battery operated sensor. If we take the cover off and then the batteries drop out. It's got two AA batteries in. Like that. Cover fits back on. And it has the lights on the top of here which glow either red, amber or green dependent on uh, how dirty the carpet is basically there's a little sensor inside here and it detects how much dirt is flowing up this passageway so if your carpet's got loads of dirt and grit in that'll come up red until it's hygienically clean so they say and uh, there's been other manufacturers that's uh, put this sort of system on there I think it's Samsung that used to use these, this type of system here we'll see that in action in a bit so that's the allergic tech head now, at this point, I will go into um, what you would have with a standard mailer. If you were to buy a standard one, which is the basically what nowadays would be the, the C3 complete, like the basic model or the power line, you'd have your standard floor head there, which basically is exactly the same look underneath, and it, but it's just uh, a standard neck on there that goes onto the, the hose. Okay, That's your standard mailer floor head, which would come with the, the basic the basic models, which uh, you can buy in Argus now for about £150. And then you have this one, 
which is the one I use all the time in here on the carpets. Uh, I believe actually that Argos now sell these in the Argos catalogue because they do a range of mealers. They've got a lot more accessories now. If you go online, you can actually see this on the Argos website. It's the Mealer Turbo Comfort. Now they're not cheap, they're about 50 quid to buy these are if you buy them separately. It's basically a turbo brush. There you can see the, um, the bristles underneath there. The roller wheels. I will, not, will say that on this one, the wheels are rather noisy. And you can hear that as that's going around. When you're pushing it backwards and forwards, they do tend to shriek. It is a bit annoying. I mean, they go around perfectly well. It's just, uh, I wouldn't have said that, that that's very ideal. But nothing much I can do about that. That's uh, the air bleed valve there, so you can use it on uh, thicker pile carpet so it stop, doesn't stop the brushes going round. Standard neck there with your, um, your push click fit, which all mailers have. So that's your, uh, the code with this is the STB205. Again, it says it's made in Germany there. So that's the, the turbo brush that you can buy. The, uh, the bags that you get for this unit are the Miele High Clean bags, which are these here. And uh, currently, they're, they're a little bit different to this now. I think they use what is called the 3D bags now, which have a slightly bigger capacity than these. But essentially, I got so many of these when I had the cleaners at reasonable prices that uh, these are the old stock. But they're, they're a nine layer bag, and uh, no matter how full they are, and never seem to lose suction. Now that's pretty hard to believe with a bag cleaner, but uh, they never tend to lose suction. They're very good bags these, and they last me months before I need to empty them. But they cost about ten pounds for four, so they're not they're not cheap, but they do last. And inside there, you get one of the uh, pre motor filters like that, and uh, you get a post motor filter as well. There isn't one in this bag because I've used it in the I've used it. Up before, but I'll show you what it looks like. So that's your high clean bags. So um, what you would have, if you bought a standard mealer, inside the back you'd have this filter cartridge, okay? And that is where, when you just open that up, this is the air clean filter there, that's what comes in each packet of bags. So every time you buy, buy a pack of four, Yes, they say you should change this exhaust filter. And on the basic machines, the 150 power model, just the basic power line, uh, the ones that aren't HEPA, they basically come with this grill in the back, and I'll show you where that goes shortly. And you basically put your filter in there that comes with the bags in there, close it up like so. So you haven't got to worry about buying filters because they already come with the bags. Right? Okay. So what we've got here is the base unit. It's, uh, as I say, it's the, if I just uh, focus in on that, Miele S8 Medicare, 300 to 2200 watts, made in Germany. And I do like my, uh, do, do like to see them made in Germany. I'm not uh, that big a fan of made in China cleaners. Okay. Inside the front, what we've got on this machine, it stores all its tools on board. So you can open the, uh, the front there and you've got your upholstery brush or the dusting brush, should I say, there. That's a standard Miele dusting brush, it's very good quality. And then you have your upholstery tool there for doing the furniture and the stairs. And you have your crevice tool there rather a short one but it has to be so it'll fit nicely into the machine that clicks down like that on the back of the machine what we have there is your lights that come on according to how much power the machine's using so it can either be on minimum that's your upholstery that's your area rugs that's your everyday use it's supposed to be a picture of an ear that one Apparently it's supposed to be so that it, it's, it's the quietest setting um, for use on in general use. I think that's around about, equates to about 1300 watts on this. That's 300, 600, 900, 1200, 1500, 2000. Well, basically that's your fitted carpets one and that's your hard floor setting. That's the plus and minus buttons there. 
that controls the suction power of the motor, turns the motor up or down. You've got your on-off switch there, your parking bracket there for your floor head, and that's the comfort rewind. That's basically you press that and it rewinds the cable all in one go, and we'll demonstrate that later. Underneath, there's the uh, label there saying it's 2200 watts. Uh, Miele S8330, made in Germany. Very nice. And you've got your roller casters underneath there. One there, one there, and one there. And we open the top there, and then we see the bag. Now this is your Miele GN bag here. Very, very simply, pull it out. Comes out just like so. I mean, that's fairly full, that one. Because I, I do use this cleaner an awful lot from day to day. It's one of my uh, daily drivers. But these bags, like I say, this one's been in for quite uh, been a couple of months, and uh, I use them till they're absolutely. We just uh, I don't think we can uh, see very much in there, can we? But basically, yeah, you can see all the cat hairs and all the fibre it picks up. But they are very, very good bags, and you can see the inside of the bag compartment there. That's your pre-motor filter. Let me just pull that down. Now that has never been changed all the time we've had that cleaner. So you can see that the bag does not let an awful lot of dirt through there because that's still the original pre-motor filter there. And I've had this machine now for a couple of years. Right, that just pushes back in there. On the back here, you've got your HEPA Air Clean 50. It did originally have The camera won't focus now, will it? Yes, there we go. Originally there was a, uh, a little time strip there, but I pulled that off because it went all the way and says replace. It's supposed to replace them after every 12 months, but uh, this one's been in for two years now and it still works fine. It just pulls out like so. And you can see underneath of there, that's very black. Okay. Uh, that's basically all the carbon dust that comes out of the motor. but it. Uh, Perfectly white on the other side there, which shows it does an absolutely fantastic job. Now you can see your motor in there. And that just pushes in. Now this other filter, if I just grab that, this one here. If you didn't want to replace, if, if your machine's got a, a HEPA filter and you don't want to replace that, you can buy these from Mailer or Accessory Places. And you can just pull your HEPA filter out. And you can put this one in its place there, like so. So that's now a non-HEPA machine, and that's the setup that would come if you were to buy a very basic model, the, the base bottom of the line, £150 Power Plus. It's the black one. Basically, it comes with that in. So just to change it, you just open that, and you can change it, filter over. Okay. We'll leave that one in for now. I'll put this uh, bag back. Okay, and then the top down, and there we go. So that's the uh, base unit. So now what I'll do, I'll uh, assemble it now. We'll put the camera back on the top, and uh, we'll uh, push it around. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do then, we'll put the hose back on, and it's ready for use. Pushes in here, like so. Rod clicks on everything with the move, it all clicks into position really nice and positive so you know it's locked in. And it's not like struggling with the other ones where it's all a friction fit and they all drop apart. That stays in, pushes in and stays in. Put that on the end. This is the Allergia Tech head. So I might have to have the camera off the tripod again so we can see the lights coming on on this. So I'll just now pull the cable out and we'll plug it in. So now we've got it on, second lowest setting there, that's the minimum, let's turn it round here, and what we can do, that's the third setting, fourth, fifth, and that's maximum power, so even on maximum, 
it's not terribly noisy. Right, so what we're going to do, turn that down. What I'll do is sprinkle some salt on the floor. Some salt here. Just to demonstrate the uh, allergic tech head with the way the lights work on that. Right, just hold the camera here. And as you can see, because I'm pushing that backwards and forwards. The red light comes on as it's picking up the salt, telling me that there's still salt in the carpet. And that cycles between green, amber and red. So we can see there's still salt in that position there. down into the upholstery setting there. So there we go. 
that's uh, that's um, showing you it working there with the turbo brush. Now, um, the one thing I'm not very happy about with that turbo brush is that squealing noise that it makes when you're pulling it backwards and forwards, and um, it, it smacks me of cheap and nasty, that noise that that thing makes there, because um, it didn't used to do it when I had it, and uh, what, I, what I might do is try and see if I can put some oil or some grease on there, on the back wheels, because it's the back wheels that are making that noise, and uh, quite honestly, for something that costs £50 to buy, I wouldn't expect a Miele turbo brush to make that awful racket when you're pulling it backwards and forwards. And the more I use it, the worse that seems to get. And it's, it's not even three years old, this machine. Anyway, for the rest of the machine, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. I've never, ever had a better machine than this. It does a fantastic job, very reliable, very quiet, and um, you don't have all the palaver of bagless cleaners and cleaning filters every time you're using it. You can use it on hard floors, on lino, on all kinds of different surfaces. They're so versatile, these machines. So, I'll just uh, wind the cable in now. One press on there. Ought to do it. There we go. That all works fine. As I say, that is the only gripe I've got with it is the noise that uh, turbo brush wheels make. And we just uh, stand it off. It slots nicely into the side, like so. That folds down. And that is, uh, that is how you'd set it up there to store it, okay? So there's your review of the, uh, the Miele S8 Medic Air. We've seen it there working with the Allergitech head, which is a rather a nifty little gadget if you want to make sure your carpets are really clean. But uh, there we go. And you can buy these in the shops as the Miele C3 Complete. It comes as the power line model, which is the 1600 watts. It's the black one. It's the I think it's about 150 pounds to sell in those for now. The base model. That has the standard type of filtration, what I've got in there now with the, the little grill, but you have the, the filters that come in the bags. There's the, uh, the Miele C3 Complete Cat and Dog, which is the red version of this, and that comes with this head on it, which is a turbo brush, and hopefully one which doesn't have wheels that shriek like this one does. Uh, and it would also have a standard head as well, so you'd have two different heads. They used to come with a mini turbo brush, but they don't anymore, unfortunately. Uh, there's the complete solution one, which I think is the uh, 1200 watts, the cat and dog's 1200 watts, and then you've got the eco line version of it, which is basically, it doesn't have a turbo brush, it comes with a standard head, and that's just a 700 watt cleaner, but I think they're more, more suitable for if you've got the hard floors in your house. If everything's hard flooring, 700 watts should do you fine, but it won't really, I wouldn't have thought, drive a turbo brush. Uh, we've like using this one on the very low setting here, and it just doesn't drive the turbo brush on that. So there we go, there's, there's the three different types that you can buy now, the C3 Complete, and um, I think they're well worth the money. I know the bags are expensive at £10 for four, but they do last me quite a while. The HEPA filter, which is this one, that is £20 to buy, that's why I haven't replaced this one. I'm just going to go with the standard filters after this. I'm not paying £20 for a filter. You'd only have one of those if you had real allergy problems because the normal filtration on this is wonderful anyway. There's another one which is what they put on the cat and dog which has the carbon filter in here which is supposed to reduce bag smells. That's the charcoal filter. I think they're about £10 to buy. I haven't got one of those to show you. There we go. Until the next time, I shall see you again later.